Hey, how's it going dudes and dudettes? Brad the Fixologist here. In this video, we're gonna explore whether or not methylene blue can replace fountain pen ink. I've kind of always wondered this ever since I started taking methylene blue recently. I have found that it keeps me from having really uh, run down days and stuff like that. I put about four or five drops of this in a glass of water, usually every day or every other day. And uh, this is, uh, you know, this has really been doing me some good, I think. It's kept my energy levels high, but that's beside the point of this video. This video is to see whether or not methylene blue, which is a very, very heavy industrial dye that's used in a lot of applications, can be used for ink. If I had to guess, I would say probably they are very, very similar. But we're gonna fill up one of these refillable pens. This is a Parker Frontier. So we're gonna fill up this thing and see if uh, see what kind of results we get. And this stuff will stain anything it comes into contact with, so just be very aware of that. Okay, that's probably enough for a demonstration. Yeah, you can get these refills like this, but you can also refill them with a with a dropper fairly easily, which is what I always do with these this type of pen. Um, once these are spent, I always wash them out and reuse them. And it's much much cheaper like that. You can of course order order these uh, Parker refills, and you know if you don't already have some, you probably you will need some to run pens like this. But once these run out, you can just wash them out and reuse them like this. Okay, you fountain pen enthusiasts probably already know it. Some, it'll take a second usually for the uh, ink to kind of get flowing on one of these. Sometimes it even helps uh, to run a bit of hot water on the tip until it gets going. Help gravity along here. There we go, we're starting to get something there. Now you'll have to take this with a grain of salt at first here because I did just wash this pen out so we're going to um, we're going to get a little bit of the old ink and also a little bit of water too for the first little bit here. So far, it's darker than I would have expected. It's it's uh, actually closer to a black than a blue. I don't know if that's uh, still some of the original ink that I washed out that's left in there, but if you look at this, it does look kind of black. Let me put a little bit on the page here. Maybe we can get a sense of, uh... yeah. I mean, once you dilute this stuff, it definitely turns blue, but but right now in this in its current state, it is looking black on a page. So that's probably what you could expect is that uh, that undiluted, it's going to look black. It kind of makes me wonder whether or not I could dilute this with something to thin it out a bit and enhance the blue a little bit more. Maybe distilled water? I don't know. It is coming out nice, it's flowing nice. It's flowing uh, as I would expect a, uh, an ink to flow. So I don't think there's really an issue there. Now if we wanna compare the color on the page, this pen is filled with the Pelican tint and we'll see what it looks like as far as the color on the page. Yeah, I don't know if you could tell that, but this is definitely more blue than the methylene. But to answer the question, will methylene blue actually work in an ink pen, in a fountain pen? I'd say yes. Methylene blue works in fountain pens. Okay guys, so the previous clips that you just watched were shot about a month or so ago, maybe six weeks ago, and I got this pen back out a little bit earlier and the ink wouldn't flow, um, so I ended up taking out the methylene blue that was in here and I went with about a 50-50 mix of methylene blue and just pure tap water. 
um, and it, this seems to be flowing much better. I, it, I would probably go with about 60 at 40, ideally, uh, but this 50-50 mixture seems to be also doing pretty good. Uh, I did also do some searching and some random people on the internet suggested adding a drop of dish soap to your solution when you mix it up, but I didn't see a need for that. Let's look at what this methylene blue has done to my hands. Try not to get this stuff on your hands because it won't wash off. 